Hello guys, this new project PLAVA is going to blow you away. PLAVA simply enables you to talk to your own videos. Let me show you a demo. And this demo is based on Gradio provided by them. Let me make it slightly bigger so that we will be able to see it. Let me upload my own video here. And this is just a YouTube video which I created a couple of hours ago. Let's wait for it to upload. It is in the MP4 format. So you have uploaded the video and then you have to click on this upload and start chat. It is going to process it. So let's wait for this processing to finish. And once it is finished, we can chat with it. Almost there. Let's see. I'm asking what is or maybe type this video. Let's see. And of course, it's a free demo, so there will be some latency, but I'm sure if you're running it locally, it, going, it is going to be way more performant. I couldn't see the weights of this model, but if I find any weights of the model, then I might try it out on the local system, but I think that will take a lot of powerful GPUs, but let's see. So let's wait for this one to come back. It is still running. So while this happens, let me give you a bit more overview of this project. So for instance, this is another video where you can um, chat with it and they are showing it in this demo. So let me play it a bit. You see, this is a video and at the top, it is saying what is this video is doing and it is describing the women, the sunglasses and carrying a black purse and all the nitty gritties of this amazing, amazing stuff. There you go. I'll stop it. I'll just play another one. So you see in this one again, it is talking with this. I'll just start from here. You see video is playing and you can talk with it. There you go. So not only it is telling us that what exactly is this ornate decoration, a large wave, and then all the attire, description, expression, what is the setting, background, all juxtaposition, lot of other stuff is happening here. And then there are various examples which are present on their project page and I'm, I'm going to drop it in the link to it in video description. I would highly suggest read through it. A really, really fascinating read. Now, again, there are this is example where it is doing the recaptioning and producing caption in a very, very great detail on this 4K data set. So again, this is the one which we showed you. So primarily what is happening, if you think about it, the thing is that vision language pre-training has significantly elevated performance across a wide range of image language applications. Yet the pre-training process for video related tasks demands exceptionally large computational and data resources, which hinders the progress of video language models. This PLAVA investigates a straightforward, highly efficient and resource light approach to adapting an existing image language pre-trained model for dense video understanding. Their initial experiments have revealed that directly fine-tuning pre-training image language models with multiple frames as inputs on video data sets leads to performance saturation or even a drop. Their further investigations reveal that it is largely attributed to the bias of learned high norm visual features. Motivated by this finding, they proposed a simple but effective polling strategy to smooth the feature distribution along the temporal dimension the end, reducing the dominant impacts from the extreme features. This new model is termed as pooling lava or P lava. P lava achieves new state of the art performance on modern benchmark dataset for both video question answering and captioning tasks. And on the recent popular video chat GPT benchmark, PLAVA has already achieved a score of 3.48 out of 5 on average of 5 evaluated dimensions, exceeding the previous SOTA results from GPT-4 Vision. And it has beaten GPT-4 Vision by 9%. Also on the latest multi-choice benchmark MV Bench, PLAVA has already achieved 58.1% accuracy on average across 20 subtasks which is 14.5% higher than GPT-4 vision. And that is something. So all in all, a really, really good model. And I think 
this is going to be the future where you can talk with videos we can already talk with our images it with a very very ease but talking with videos still it uh, in bit of a limbo but i think this will be real good if we can talk to the videos and p lava is providing us uh, that option let's go back to our gradio demo and see if it worked or not sorry i just need to find the correct screen there you go okay there you go so it has produced it it says a video appears to be a presentation slide from a conference or seminar discussing a topic related to language models and natural language processing the title of slide is fast adaptive adversarial training for llms how good is that that is actually very very true because this is it is not a uh, training i think it has mixed it up with this but it is fast adaptive adversarial prompting and then yes there was a diagram where i have shown various components so very very true so you can see that it is able to detect all of the text let me ask it how long is this video let's see if it is able to detect that interestingly instead of answering me about the length of the video it has just generated some sort of similar response to the previous one anyway so there are few other examples too which are scattered there for example if i select this one where it is saying describe the background characters and actions in the pro provided video and then there you go so can i start chatting with it how do i so do while the milk is heating and then click on send this yes, please upload your video i already have uploaded it it is generating something the only problem which i see at the moment is that it takes long time so i have to wait at least 5 minutes to get the response back i'm not sure what sort of hardware it is running on at the moment but anyway by the way the model size is 34b it seems p lava 34 billion So let's see let's wait for it to come back it is still running taking lot of time so hopefully they should improve it let's wait until 207.8 second and see if it then able to produce the result i think this is one thing they need to improve because this is this much delay is unacceptable it has even passed that 207 second as you can see here so i'm not going to wait for it okay so as we were waiting it has come back but it has uh, hasn't given me the proper response maybe i would need to restart it which is not good anyway but all in all i think a real ground breaking project in my humble opinion because until now i don't think so that uh, we had any such model gpt4 vision was good but not as good enough but benchmarks say that it this performs well and we have seen that in the first video it performed well i think interface could be improved and latency could be improved but i believe the underlying technology seems quite good that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching